when I tell you I stalked her, okay? She's kept in her bed, in her box, in her dust bag, okay? And that is our, this bag is so classy. Hello, man. Girl, you hype just like I'm hype. Calm down. It's your girl Anitra here with Different by Design, where Faith and Fashion Connect. I'm coming to you today with another video. If you are returning to my channel to watch another one of my videos, hey girl, hey. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. Just make yourself at home. Click that like button, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell so you can stay tuned for all things Faith and Fashion. So, as you can see, we are using a different setup today. Why, you ask? Have you not seen my latest short? Okay. Um, my bag shelf, my bag display collapsed um, one night in the middle of the night. I saw that it was coming. Like I glanced one day and I was just like, wait, why are the bags on top of my shelf slowly falling behind the shelf? And I keep picking them up and they're sliding back and I happened to notice that one of the poles of the shelf was bending forward, which means that this little cheap mainstays shelf was no longer holding the weight of my bag display. And for that reason, I was like, you know, we need to be proactive. We need to do something because I see that it's getting ready to fall. I don't want it to fall in the middle of the night. The middle of the night came literally after I made that statement and literally after midnight everything fell and what did i do i rolled over <laughs> and went back to sleep we were not stressing okay so as it stands we're here i don't want to ramble too much in this video because this is the video y'all i was supposed to make this video it was on my fall winter content list but we are here now it's a part of my summer no buy series for 2024 so it is what it is. This collection, when I tell y'all, it stressed me. Not stressed, but stressed me out, y'all. I tell you no lies. Why? Because it seemed like every time I thought I had found everything, it, it started to become like a clown car. I was pulling out more stuff. And it's just like, girl, this brand, the chokehold that this brand has on your collection is wild, okay? It's wild. I thought... Um, my Michael Kors collection was big. I thought my Kirk Geiger collection was big. Girl, okay? When I tell you the stronghold, <laughs> the chokehold that Coach has on my bag collection, I tell you no lies. And right now, my collection that you used to see so beautiful, well, it wasn't even beautiful. I wasn't in love with y'all, so I'm not complaining. Listen, this gives me the opportunity to search for a new way which is what i wanted in the first place a new way to display them but right now the bags are inside of bags okay the bags are inside of bags um i was stressed over how i wanted to present this because it's, it's just it's a lot it's a lot have I, do i have my eye on some of the new releases absolutely okay abs absolutely that backpack oh my goodness the class the elegance the elevation that it could it brings it could bring to any to any look i love i'm not in love with the dragon fruit collection let me tell you why i love the black and the chalk why because the c is not covered okay it's a brass c the brass c matches the brass turn locks and the brass turn locks and the brass C also match the brass chain. When it comes to the dragon fruit color, I don't know why they didn't leave that C silver. I feel like that would have took that bag to the, that color, it just screams tropical, fruity drink, tropical punch. 
that dragon fruit oh, refresher laid up. <laughs> okay, that's all it says. It screams laid up. But once they covered the sea with, with the dragon fruit leather, I'm out. Tat tape out. This one, I, I literally planned this video out because I know me, I, I get excited about things like this. And so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stay focused to the best of my ability. I'm going to stay focused. We're going to discuss uh, wear and tear, would I buy again? Am I done collecting coach and coach outlet pieces? Like, is this the end? Are you sure? <laughs> okay. How do you know you've never been here before? Um, so I feel like we should start off this video by showing you guys my very first piece that was kind of like kicked off the coach collection. And that is this mini Bennett satchel. Okay, this neon yellow with silver hardware. This was my very first piece ever. I got this piece I can't remember if it was Poshmark or eBay, but when I saw, whose video was I watching? It was a throwback. Like this is like way, way, way back in the day, watching a YouTube video. And um, the YouTuber had like this neon yellow bag and I, it was the, I used to carry them at Target. It was like the Cambridge, I think it was, the Cambridge satchel and it came in this color. And so while I was looking for that, I think that's how I stumbled upon this. And I was just like, ooh, I like that better. Of course, as always, it comes with a little flimsy bag straps that y'all know I hate with passion. The last time I carried this bag, let's see. I was vlogging one day when I carried this bag. November 18th of last year, 2023. That was the last day I carried this bag. I keep her stuffed, wear and tear wise. She, I did, so she was she was a pre-love piece. She definitely, you have to be careful with her because of her color. She um, picks up everything. So I have to like wipe. She's so bright, you can't hardly see. She is highlighter, neon yellow. Did I want more? of this bag, yes. This bag came in other bright colors. There was an orange, there was a pink. At one point I wanted all three colors. I changed my mind. This one is the OG, the OG. I, now I learned back then that anything, any coach piece that had this plate was outlet. And so yes, this was a pre-love beauty. She kicked us off the collection. We had to Put her up first because she was the first so we're going to put her off to the side we're going to get into the original design which was smallest to largest in the collection we're going to start off with our charms we have several of them however if you are familiar with my channel and you keep up with my content you know i recently released um it's called before you spend 95 dollars that's the video i'll try to put the thumbnail there but I talk a lot about a lot of my coach charms in that video, and that is the fruit slices. I'm not going to get into too much detail about these now because that video also goes into greater detail. And then also on my channel, everything that's in this video has a video. Okay, so what I will do, hmm. What I probably should do is make a separate playlist for all of the co the coach. You can just knock yourself out because girl, okay? So all of my fruit slices, I keep them in, I keep them in the original packaging. A lot of you guys ask like, are they brand new? No girl, I just have a habit. I like keeping stuff stored the way it came. I keep the little price tags and everything. I just keep them all. So I'm not gonna go. Then we also have the cherries, the pink, um, pink multi cherry charm. So I'm not gonna go into detail about those because I talked about those already. There's actually two other charms, fruit slice charms. They're in the bags that I usually carry them with. You'll see them later in the video. I'm not digging. Next up we have Berisha. 
our coach bear charm with the star over the eye. Oh, I loved her so much. I wanted her so much. I stalked this little charm. I was able to get her. We also have another charm um, that I stalked. And that is our Basquiat collection uh, that Coach did. I feel like I settled for the charm because this is all that I was able to grab from the collection. There were other pieces that I wanted, but I was just happy I got my hands on this one, stopped in transit. And then as you can see, it is uh, hot stamped. Yes, child. So that is the charms. Am I done with buying charms? Are you new, you new here? I know I complain. I know I say I need coach to get your hands out my pocket, but. <sighs> okay, there are still some charms that I want to add to my collection. Um, a lot of them I will probably have to find on the pre-love markets because um, social, listen, once TikTok, once Instagram, once social media, over, once YouTube overall gets a hold of something and puts it out there, a lot of people catch on. There's a whole video I want to make about um, the luxury community influencers slowly making their way over into the contemporary space and wanting uh, once again to rock with brands, i.e. coach, that they were turning their nose up on, turning their nose up at, and now it's like, it because coaches has made this resurgence and coaches cool again, suddenly we want to rock coach too and we want to be quiet luxury and we all flip separate video y'all don't get me started but there are more pieces that I want as far as charms yes um so far so good with my charms I have to get better at carrying my charms and using my charms because girl why are you collecting them if you're not going to use them next we have SLGs and another large collection and what did I do please hold now, when I say SOGs, I mean the card cases, um, the mini skinny ID card cases and the card holders and the snap wallets and the coin pouches and the wristlets and the Dolitas. Okay. So many. <laughs> do I want more? <laughs> the question is, do I need more? The answer is no. But do am I done collecting? You're new here. <laughs> That's clear. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So basically what had happened was, I thought it would be a good idea that when I purchase a bag, that I would also grab a matching card holder or some type of SLG if it was available. And so this is just some of the ones that I have um, either I'm currently carrying or um, I pulled them out of bags that were not coach bags. They were purchased for bags that were not explicitly, they're not made by coach, but I use them in the bag. So first up, because we are currently carrying the bag that goes to these SOGs, we have my five, what is it called here? We have my five ring key case and the signature print. I'm currently still using this. And we have the matching child. We have the matching um, card holder. Um, yes, mini skinny ID card holder and the signature print. And that bag I'm also using, let me see while it's next to me. Just dropping stuff, y'all. We have the coin pouch. When I tell you I was so happy when I completed this set, I tell you no lies. Like this is just luscious. Yes, I know it's giving Louis Vuitton dupe. It is not a Louis Vuitton dupe, okay? It's not a dupe for any other designer brand. It is Coach, okay? Coach stands alone. The quality, the quality, okay? The, the, the quality says it all. Listen. Okay, if they make more SOGs, 
like what do i i still want the wristlet to match this collection the wristlet and nolita i'm still in the hunt for those but yes a hundred times over yes and we'll get there when we get there okay um we also have the key case in black i love this love this down okay had to make myself stop caring because girl all right um next up i'm holding so much stuff in my lap right now next up we have from our open christmas presents with me video we have our metallic silver heart glittery heart coin pouch i have not used this that i can remember yet i clearly have not used this yet because she still has these in it okay so i have not used her yet let me take this out while i'm thinking about it love 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 was so excited that i found her this uh collection came in purple as well but this silver i wanted it specifically for football season because i am cowboys nation okay so that we have another matching slg for that but we'll get there we have um in our slg collection and again this is not exhaustive because there's more stuff stashed we have our chalk collection here we have our chalk and gold uh mini skinny id we have the small corner zip bracelet with the gold hot stamps and we have the large corner zip bracelet with the gold plate okay love 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 these pieces were purchased for a lamb gallery bag this was purchased for another bag you'll see later in the video my just crossbody we'll get there when we get there but yes this is the chalk slgs in my collection all right so next up in the slg collection we have what am i missing okay we have all of the well not all of the black pieces i showed you guys the key case we have the small wristlet here, the large corner zip wristlet, and then we have the double zip wristlet. Pebble leather, leather, pebble leather, cross grain leather. I'm here for both of them. Here for here for both textures. Okay. Love, 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 love these pieces. Also purchased for a lamb gallery bag. Found this on sale. Okay. And then we have this, which I actually never opened. There's a whole backstory to this. I don't even know what size wristlet this is. I don't know what size this is. So I took a sneak peek. It's another um, black small corner zip wristlet. Yeah, so this is my um, entire black SLG collection. I found my black mini skinny cross green ID case. So this is my black SLG collection. Um, I would love it if Coach created black with silver hardware. I feel like that's what's missing. I know they don't typically put the chalk with silver, but the black with silver would be greatly appreciated. That's the only thing I can see my collection missing at this point is black with silver hardware, but yes. Next up we have our metallic SLGs. There's more to this collection, but again, they're inside of their designated coach bag. So we'll see them once we get there. We have our metallic ash and silver small corners at wristlet and the, this is the pebble. This is not cross grain. This is like the pebble green leather. And then we have the large corner zip and pale gold. They both have the um, plated uh coach logo love 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 purchased for football season for my silver lamb gallery and then i got the gold lamb gallery purchased for the gold one love 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 these pieces i need a i basically need them in the reverse color so i need a small gold and a large metallic ash and i would just be head over heels in love just the uh, let me see here okay so we have another slg another wristlet here 
that has been sitting very much unloved because we have not found anything else to match with her. And that is this taffy, what is she called again? That's so bad. This is the signature Dempsey large corner zip in the color taffy. When I found this, I was so excited, but we have not found a matching bag. We have not found anything to match her. So she just sits. I have to figure out a way to use her, but as of right now, she has been just sitting in her package and feeling all the, the, the lack of love, okay? But I love, 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 love her to pieces. I need to figure out a way to style her. Um, my, creati my creativity needs to rev itself up so we can do something with her. But would I buy another signature Dempsey piece? I would and continue to watch this video because she has cousins. She just doesn't have any like siblings yet. So we'll get to the cousins later in the video. All right, and we are going to work our way back around to the signature print SLGs because I realized that there were more, okay? We have our black brown uh, mini skinny ID and we have our black brown coin pouch and yes I, okay so i know what i'm going to do now so i i was getting ready to transition into something but then i forgot about some other pieces <sighs> do i want like a corner zip wristlet in this color yes i would love one what I do have currently, and see that just messed up the transition. I'm all, I'm going to end up all over the place. I do have the Nolita, okay, which is a part of our SLG collection, okay. Love, 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 love her. I love carrying these pieces together. It's just oh, in a good work bag hookup. I love it. And so that transitions us into our Nolitas. I only have three. Do I want more? Yes, the question is, do I need more? Probably not, but this is it. This was our very first Nolita. I went back and forth on whether or not I would sell her. And this is our silver and green Nolita 19. I love, 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 love her. So glad I didn't get rid of her. She has the silver chain. They have a little teeny coach hang tag, which I try to keep tucked inside the Nolita so they do not get lost. She is that luscious, pebbly, glove tanned oh, love her to pieces the next nolita we purchased was actually i think it was this one yes yeah, so the black um brown black love 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 her little hang tag she has the gold hardware her little hang tag is also kept tucked inside love 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 her to pieces and then the last nolita we purchased was this silver Nolita um, that I got to match the little coin pouch. Love her to pieces. Um, she has a little hang tag, which I'm getting ready to tuck inside to keep her from getting lost, but yes. Um, my only complaint about the Nolitas, um, I love the chain, okay? I love the chain Nolita. I am not, because the chain, um, they're, they're actually wristlets. So I guess I can't complain too much. Like you can, um, they can be converted into a wristlet, but I would like if maybe the Nolita straps were completely removable. Okay, you can carry it this way but I would prefer if the strap was 100% removable. So if I wanted to carry the Nolita with just a bag chain, stuff is just determined to fall. If I wanted to carry my Nolita with just a bag chain, I could and not have to worry about the leather strap. It's easier to do, I have done it before with this one, um, where I just have this chain hanging in the front and then I'll add the bag chain to the D-rings, but it's more difficult to do with the leather straps because they don't bend as easily. They're not as pliable as the chain strap. 
but I love, love, love the Nolitas. We all know that they are a nod to um, the another designer brand. And I say another on purpose. Um, yes, but I love them. Do I want more? Absolutely. Do I need more? I told y'all my shelf just fell. That should answer all of your questions. That should answer my question, but we all know. <laughs> we all know. So that's my Nolitas. And we have more SOGs, which I completely forgot. Well, I didn't completely forget them. I was going to wait until we got to the bag to talk about them. But that is our bag straps. We have the black brown signature print. We have the all black with the gold hardware. We have the light khaki and chalk reversible. Let me mention that the black brown is also reversible. And then we have the khaki saddle, which is currently in use um, on the bag I've been carrying the past couple days. So yes, would I buy more straps? Oh, Y'all, I love these straps so much. Like they, man, when you have just like a regular degular bag, because it's here like this, and yes, it comes with its own strap. We'll talk about it more later but once you throw on the signature print strap when i tell you the looks the that's a cute bag like these straps i love them so so much i need to use this one because i just realized that this one still has like the factory wrapping tag attached but yes and they're reversible too so they give you options reversible so it gives you options so you can have like a regular regular and I've showed you guys on this channel before like there's a denim bag I showed you guys on this channel where I showed you that you can throw one of these straps on it granted it's not a coach bag but you put one of these straps on there baby when I tell you that the elevation that it can give a look I tell you no lies do I need more straps no do I want more straps there are some straps that I know I have to find pre-loved at this point and usually what I have tried to do in the past was if there was a strap on sale, I would just grab it um, because I just love this type of strap. It's so substantial, <sighs> quality leather. Listen, the hardware is just everything. So yes, I would definitely add more straps to my collection. <sighs> Moving right along. Uh, okay, so I think that it does not complete it, but it completes it for now. Um, my SOGs, we're going to move on to another piece that I added to my collection. Was so happy that I found her. Literally just opened her days before the bag shelf collapsed. And that is this coffee table book, Coach, the New York story, a uh, story of New York cool. Baby, when I showed you guys this book, it was wrapped in plastic and I literally never opened the book I was like I kind of want to keep it protected but I'm so glad that I eventually chose to open the book this book is just everything y'all everything so I finally decided to open the book okay now granted I kept the plastic because it's me but baby when I tell you I opened this book the pictures the pictures and it just let me know that like this, this reminded me this brand has been around since 1941 man 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 oh man 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 oh man let me find there's a lot of fashion pictures but let me find some bag pictures okay bag pictures oh and, oh this is perfect because this is actually out now a variation of this is out now so you guys are familiar with we've i think i posted it in my community uh community post recently but like there is a bag with fringes currently out now it comes out it comes in multiple colors i'm getting notifications we y'all comes out in multiple it comes in multiple colors This 1941 rig with these fringes oh, and that gold turnlock 
it's so understated and elevated at the same time that's what i love about poach y'all this this glove tan leather this is called the crazy clutch baby this leather is second to none okay y'all you can keep your, your your coated canvas i will take some coach leather in a heartbeat okay baby this book read me a bedtime story <laughs> okay <laughs> i will listen i will listen okay let me find another good picture because i had a little like i kind of flipped through the, the book a little bit but i didn't like really like dive in what i like about this book is they have it broken down by like decade like since the brand was established like each decade what the fashions were like and what bag was hot then baby this is like a photo from 1973 okay would we not wear this now this denim on denim with that duffel <laughs> would we not wear this now are we not wearing this now oh my goodness this, this book this book this book this book this book let's see what were they wearing in the 80s because i am an 80s baby let me find the 80s but y'all if i can find this book i think i linked it in okay so we're in the 80s okay so um oh look at miss cicely tyson oh my goodness yes it's like she looks so pretty right there but yes y'all i love that they have like a mix of black oh look at miss grace jones and miss naomi campbell oh this this is fashion darling this is fashion okay i get it. yes okay so this is the 80s it, what i will try to do is if i can find this book now what i will say is i got this book from was it the coach website or the coach outlet website super steal of a price okay if i'm able to find this book and the price is fairly close to what i spent for this book which was under a hundred dollars i'll link it a lot of places i remember when i got the book i tried to link it back and it, people the, the resellers had got a hold of it and they were asking three four five hundred dollars no no <sighs> Look at, look at this. Look at, is she not serving? Is she not serving? Let me find another bag picture before we, so I can move on. But yes, honey. No, that doesn't, that's not what we're looking for. Oh, just the fashions. Is this John? It sure is, Mr. Bot. We just got finished talking about him. Mr. Basquiat himself. So there he is right there in the 80s. And they just put, yeah, his collection might have had something similar to that on there. So he, listen, baby, this book, you will get its oh, classic pouch. Well, let me see here. This isn't the 90s. This backpack, oh, that just reminded me. Okay, so this is the backpack. Now y'all remember back in the day, I know back in my day, because like I said, I'm an 80s baby. Baby, when girlies had the coach belt with the hang tag, and they had a coach bag with the hang tag, and I think, were they like coach loafers or something like that? Like, I wasn't there yet, okay? My coin was not there yet, but I know the girlies back in the day, like that used to be the thing, like denim on denim with a coach belt. <laughs> Okay, but let me, I digress. Look at this backpack, y'all. Isn't there something out now that's very similar to this? Um, yes, it reminds me of the quilted backpack that I want to add to my collection, but isn't there also something out now that's very similar to this? I, I could talk about this book all day. Let me close it. Y'all, this, I am just so happy that I found this book. So happy that I found this book. I told y'all I kept the plastic. I was not lying. Um, yes. Again, Coach, a story of New York cool. I am here for the entire story. All right. So that concludes the SLGs and accessories portion of this video. Let's get into what most of us have been waiting for. And that is the bags. Now I will say as it stands, okay, this is 
my bag storage okay there are bags inside of this bag um i have three bags three tote bags full of bags there are bags on top of the tote bags there are bags in a box there are bags and dust bags there are bags without dust bags i showed you guys one bag already and a sneak peek of another bag so what we're going to do is we're going to stick to our list because <laughs> girl you're not fit to stress yourself out we're going to start with the 18s the 18 crew and um work our way on up and let me pull okay so all of the 18 bags are in a bag together um is this smaller than 18 no it is not but stick to the script sis stick to the script so we have our 18 crew no this is a little bigger than 18 we have our 18 crew We have the one who started it all, our metallic silver pillow tabby, 18, and the silver and gold. I need to put these bags in dust bags because I had my Kurt Geiger pieces sitting on top and these bags are, are like, I try to take so much care of my bags. I don't baby them, but I try to take care of them. And just seeing stuff sitting on top of them I, I can't but she has a matching SOG um, what I need to do is as I am making this video anybody who has a dust bag I just need to put them in the dust bag yeah so SOG accessory um, yes so there you have that put her in her dust bag um, I love this little bag um, I was told you guys multiple times she does not the size does not fit my lifestyle but on the weekend running a quick errand I love her she's everything um this little number here the pistachio pale pistachio ombre tabby again quarter on sale the colors are beautiful it gives easter egg hunt it gives spring she has a matching pale pistachio card case these colors are so pretty together silver hardware i love it love 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 does she have a dust bag she should have a dust bag i need to find a dust bag for her um yes then we have our other two size 18s and that is our pillow medicines these yummy little pieces of candy i love them so much in theory okay I've, i think i've said it a couple times on this channel the size wasn't in love i realized the 18 size is not for me the mini bag trend was not for me but i love these little bags so much i'm a big bag girly through and through but they were so adorable i couldn't pass them up petunia pink key lime okay so in the petunia we have our card holder um to match our petunia purse in here she has a dust bag so i have to put her in her dust bag and then i usually keep these chains pulled as tightly as possible and I keep them tucked inside because if you accidentally leave the bags laying on the chain, this, oh, this leather, it, the chains leave an indentation and it's hard to get that mark out. Um, key line. it took me a minute to carry her, but I finally carried her. She has silver hardware. Um, what's back here? Trash from the last time I carried it. So in her, the chains also must stay pulled we have now this is not key lime but this is a chartreuse card case and we also have our lime bag trim. okay i have decided these have to go together because key lime and lime it just makes sense she has a dust bag so i need to put her in the dust bag as well um yes would i buy this size again no I would not. 
I would not and we will discuss why later in this video but yes so we have our size 18 pillow medicines and the size 18 speaking of 18 size we have our Willis our top handle Willis 18 I love 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 when coach is served to me on my explore page my for you page when I tell you the joy I get when I see one of the vintage Willis pieces, the, the top handle Willis, the all glove tan leather pieces. And they are accessorized just right with like the perfect bag charm or um, how else have I seen them accessorized? Uh, I haven't seen many people do the twillies, but a good bag, bag charm, baby. She is a bop in the gold her little card holder is on the inside do I want another Willis yes okay especially after looking through the coffee table book and like I said my Instagram feed keeps serving me vintage coach I yes do I want her to be quilted probably not I think I think I'm good on the quilted unless I find it in a color that I don't already have in my collection and a color that like really speaks to me. Other than that, I would prefer to have her in um, a glove tanned leather, darling. Pretty color with the right charm. This bag is so classy. So yes, I would definitely add another um, Willis 18 to my collection. This is probably the only size 18 I would purchase again. All right, moving along to our 20 size piece. Actually, I, like I'm back and forth on this because it's quilted as well. We'll go to our turn lock 20 in the color rouge and breast. Again, another piece I love, 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 love this piece down. Again, this is this is very vintage, very vintage. Um, similarly to our, I always put these two together because they're both from the Quilties collection. Um, similar to the Willis, I would only buy this piece again if it was not quilted and it came in a color I didn't already have. This one has a dust bag, thankfully. It does not have a matching card holder. Um, that's something we need to look, we don't need to look into it, but I'm going to look into it at some point. I need to put her in her dust bag. Next up we have, which is already actually in her dust bag, this little cutie patootie here, our coach heart crossbody in the color light khaki and chalk. This little bag is so adorable, okay? It's very much novelty coach. I feel like coach and Kate Spade, they give you novelty, but it's like high fashion novelty sometimes sometimes they fumble the bag i will definitely say that sometimes they fumble the bag but for the most part they can make novelty pieces more high fashion and so the little heart bag collection i wasn't able to catch it when it first came out but i caught it was it earlier the beginning of the year or the end of last year one of the two um what's in here this is for the actual bag okay so i need to, yeah this is that was the packaging for the bag um and then her matching card holder also the khaki light khaki and chalk and gold so pretty do i want another heart crossbody yes i do um I, I i do there have been several releases of this bag i have only had the opportunity to carry this bag was it once? Once, maybe twice at the most. And like, you can fit your feelings in here, your your wallet. Um, your favorite lip gloss. And that's it, okay? Your feelings. <laughs> okay, all in your feelings. That That's all you can fit in, in this heart, is your feelings. <laughs> but she's cute, I will get her, get another one. Um, I would prefer it to be another signature print one. Um, the red and pink was again, novelty. It screams Valentine's Day. I wanna be able to carry the heart bag outside of Valentine's Day. 
um, but I would prefer to have it in either a solid color or another signature print. So yes, I will purchase another heart crossbody bag. Um, let's see. Sticking to the script, up next we have, oh, we're moving, moving briskly. Okay, we have another crew of the two by two and okay so we have our coach georgie jones we have it in black and gold and we have it in bright poppy and silver these bags my goodness do i want more of them absolutely the issue is the only other colors i think that are available are the chalk and gold you'll see in my collection why i don't need another chalk bag that heart crossbody is just one of several you'll see in this video um it's chalk and gold um there are others and then i am still kicking myself because i slept when the outlet released the coach k which was the outlet version of the georgie gym i slept on it because what was it about the k i didn't like the k had i think it was a turn lock closure which gave it the boutique feel and then they slapped that um coach plate at the bottom and i felt like it was redundant i felt like they should have just left it at like the turn lock closure and i was just like "Ooh, that's such a classy bag but once it's kind of like when michael kors does the double logo that turns me off so much y'all like if you're going to give me the mk the michael kors like plate written out don't put the mk in a circle directly under it overload too much the most i don't like excessive logos yes i have a lot of signature print pieces but i don't like like pick a pick a logo are you going to make me believe that this was once a boutique piece that was later released in the outlet or are you going to make me just feel like the the brand was confused when they created it so yes i would definitely add another one to my collection if i can find what i like i don't need the chalk one there are some signature print ones do i need more signature print pieces i don't know um yeah but i feel these hold their like if you're looking for a good vanity style bag Consider the Georgie Gem pre-love market. Be careful. Um, I got this one for was it a hundred or under a hundred? This one came brand new with tags. This one was sold as it. They both were new with tags, but this one came with a like a scratch on the back, which lets me know that it wasn't brand new with tags. But great prices um great listen prices were everything um so i definitely recommend if you are interested check the pre-love market these bags you could put this directly next to a chanel vanity you could put them directly next to a nice mini you can put them directly next to um what's the gucci one or even the the mcm um vanity and they will hold their own they will hold their own okay and these are leather wear and tear no issues and that's something i'll talk about at the end um to kind of wrap things up but like yes if you are looking for um this one dust bag perfect and then we have her card holder now granted i wasn't able to find this color is electric red i wasn't able to find a bright poppy car holder i stopped looking and this was on sale so i grabbed it but this has gold hardware would i like to find one with silver hardware we are nitpicking at this point but if i can at the right time then i, I probably would i need to put her in her dust bag um uh, yes bag chains twillies charms so much fun um okay yes next up we have let me check my list from the tribe of jess we have three okay three jess crossbodies we have the signature print
black brown canvas to get your print in khaki saddle. And then we have the chalk quilted. These bags are the perfect everyday bag. Whether you carry them um, and you want a more elevated look with charms and chains, or you want to have like a more edgy look with a bag strap and um, charms, like these bags are like the perfect everyday bag. Size wise, um, they have the back slip pockets, except for this one, the quilted one does not have the back slip pocket. I stumbled across a quilted just, and I'm, and I think it was like a TJ Maxx Marshalls, and I was vlogging that day. And I am still kicking myself that I didn't grab that bag when I saw it. I don't remember how much it was, but I, I should have got that bag, especially the color, oh, I should have grabbed it. But if I ever see that color again, I probably will grab it so she can have a sibling. <laughs> but um, because these two, um, yes. But especially these signature print ones, I know they did have a color block signature print where the bottom was chalk. I felt like it was, I didn't need that one. Um, and it's funny because I actually purchased a color block just crossbody, but I gave it away as a present. And low key, I kind of regret it because I feel like the person didn't really appreciate it the way I appreciated it. <laughs> but listen, no take backsies. But yes, I um, these bags, this gold hang tag just makes it so elevated. What I purchase again, absolutely right color. <sighs> yes, I would. These bags are amazing. Wear and tear has been very limited because I switch my bags out so much. This one I do have to be careful because this leather is so delicate, okay? I accidentally stored this bag. I don't know if I stored it on, I stored it underneath, that's what it was. So this bag here, I put these two bags stored together. Somehow this chain ended up sitting on top or, no, that's what it was. This bag was sitting in front of this bag. The chain was pressing against this bag and the indentation that it left. You have to be careful with these quilted bags, but I still love the, this was like my squishy puffy, squishy puffy journey <laughs> where I just, oh, I love, this feels so wonderful. So this is an outlet piece. I don't think she came with a dust bag that I can remember. They all have their own strips to go along with I, I am the queen of interchangeable strips and it's a substantial strip it's a it's a quality strip for the size of the bag that I just like to carry them oh yeah I'm like why is there still stuff in here because I was carrying this bag the past couple days um with the SLGs and listen the bag straps oh, it's a moment it's a moment up next from the tribe of penny okay we have our penny 25s in the silver and green and bold pink i would not purchase these again okay i i rarely i rarely reach for this one i love this one this was to pacify me because until i found the green pillow tabby 26 with yeah but i don't need any more of these bags like i barely reach for this one um, so this is the bold pink and gold mini 25. I, I was supposed to find a bold pink snap wallet. Um, wasn't able to find that, but I did find this cute little charm to go with her. And then for the silver and green, which I, I carry this bag more than I carry the, the gold pink one. I have a snap wallet, which is also silver and green. I'm still... <laughs> the fact that I considered selling this bag was wild. What I hate about these bags are these straps. These straps get on my nerves. When I carry this bag, I carry it like this, um, or I carry it with a silver bag chain. I carry it like this, or with the gold bag chain. I would not purchase again, but they're cute. Um, speaking of bags with straps that I loathe, 
we have this poly crossbody. It's purple ice or ice purple with this luscious pewter hardware and this hang tag here. This bag, this strap is even worse. What, what in the shoelaces? This is, this is a shoelace strap. When I tell you I've used this bag for a reel and I don't remember ever carrying her. I probably have because it has receipts in it. Let me see here. <sighs> what did the receipts say? 2022. 6, 16, June 16, 2022. Two years ago. Okay. Was the last time I carried this bag. And when was she purchased? I'm on this the April of 2022. So one reel, one break, uh, quick run to the store, and that's all the love she's gotten. Yeah, child. Now I will say she has a matching card holder. Um, yeah, the color is ice purple, and the matching car holders in another bag. So you'll see that in a second. Yeah, so this is the poly, the pebble leather poly crossbody. She might be sold. I will, I will say that. I don't, do I want another one? No, no. It, the strap and no. Moving right along. Next up we have, let me stick to the script. Ha! Huh. Next up we have the tribe of Tevi. Okay, the tribe of the 26s. We have let me gather. 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 Okay. Gather. <laughs> gather. I have the audacity to want more. Okay. We have our Pillow Tevi 26 collection. Say hello to the guy, to the ladies. This bag, okay, this bag, this bag, this bag. Again, to briefly revisit the Penny, okay? The Penny 26, the Penny 25. This was supposed to be a pacifier because I was looking for the Pillow Tabby 26 in this exact same color. Never found her. I did find, I did find this one though. This dark pine, this dark pine, this dark pine, this dark pine, this dark pine. There's not much of a color variation. Listen, okay, not much of a color variation, which is why I gave up. And also because let's talk about coach replicas for a second, shall we? Because I feel like if a brand gets to the point where there are replicas, we're not talking about dupes. We're not talking about dupes. We're talking about like, you want my spot flash? Yes. You stole my whole flow. <laughs> you stole my whole stilo. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis, because I'm trying to be you, Otis. Okay? That's what we're talking about. Anytime a brand gets to the level of there's replica pieces out there, again, I feel like, yeah, you can call it contemporary, but it's very, to, that's, to me, that speaks that you're, the quality speaks for itself. But yes, Macari, listen, almost got me. I thought I found this color. This bag and this color, absolutely not. I do not, don't, Macari is, listen, Macari is scammer central, okay? There are replicas of the Pillow Tabby 26 out there. You know it's a replica because the pillow is not pillowing. Um, the, listen, they're usually trying to sell it to you and the C is blurred out. Um, there's a lot of other other intricacies when it comes to replica. What I'll try to do if I can remember is try to put a few pictures of the replicas that were either suggested to me or came up with Macari when I was doing my search, if they're still available. Y'all, but these bags, the chokehold, this bag started it off. I got this one. Man, when I tell you, this bag is so classy with a brass 
bag chain baby so classy so elevated these two um i have both of the handles on the inside stored in inside um i need to i don't remember either of them coming with a dust bag so i have to be very careful with these because they are pillowy and you want them to stay that way but neither of these have a dedicated card holder what I was trying to do was find a card holder that had both of these colors in it and then they can just share. Um, that was not a success. Uh, actually, I found something, but the price was not right. So for that reason, I am continuing to look. But yes, love, love, love these pieces. Um, put these aside. Wear and tear has been minimal. Um, I don't baby them. Uh, as you can see here and this is just from them like sitting on top of like my bag shelf other than that minimal wear and tear we have the ombre collection the petunia ombre aqua ombre these definitely have a different feel than just the plain leather you can tell that they are coated um i guess to protect the ombre effect this one has the brassy gold this one has silver the pillowy hang tags did i mention that for the other two the pillowy hang tags i am here for them this one um straps are stored inside this is her uh card holder silver uh silver hardware but nitpicking once again the color papaya um and then we also have inside here the bag charm, the grapefruit charm that I've decided goes perfectly with this bag. Also stays stored in here. And then for the Miss Aqua Ombre, we have not, we do have a bag charm, but it's not coach. We have our racer blue card holder, not an exact match, but close enough. Um, silver hardware so that's perfection we're not nitpicking over that and the charm we have for her is not a coach charm it's this dolphin charm but because this bag gives like sea world anyway so <laughs> it's it's like it's a perfect match but yes these bags minimal wear and tear i know the biggest issue especially when people bought the ivory color was like the wear and tear on the C. There's no, there's minimal wear and tear on the ombre because I don't care. I carry them. I carry them. I won't say that as often. Um, I do carry them. So the only issue you may have is the fact that like you can see like pulling because it's coated leather, but there's no wear and tear on the C's. The, the hang tags are still hanging on. Minimal. Um, to go back to their homegirls, I will say these um, uncoated bags, there is some wear on the C. I don't know if you can see that. And minimal wear on the green C. Um, do I want more of these bags? <laughs> it's sad. Girl, you have four. It's sad, but yes, I do. More tabbies, more tabbies. There are certain colors I have been stalking. There are more colors that um, were only released in certain sections of the United States. There, I, dare I say, only certain um, department stores got them. So yes, there are more more colors that I would like. Do I need them? No. Do I want them? Yes. So that's where we stand when it comes to the Pillow Tabby 26. Um, while we are on the topic of tabbies, and my camera has been fighting me tooth and nail this entire video, we will head on over to the land of the tabby box bag. Pay no attention to this. This says everything, okay? But don't pay. We have it in the violet, and we have it in the bright green. Glove tan leather, I've carried this one a few times. This is another. See, I forgot completely about that. 
So we have inside, we have a Twilly scarf that I bought specifically for this bag. We have her, um, she came with a crossbody strap and a wristlet strap. And then we have the purple ice card holder um, that goes with the poly, but I've decided to just use it for this bag. Um, yes. This bag is super cute. Do I want another tabby box bag? No, because it's extremely structured. I love this top handle. It reminds me of the Cassie. And the Cassie, of course, is a nod to the Pouchette Matisse. Pouchette Matisse. Yes, that's how you say it. I love this style. Perfect for a Tully scarf. This bag took me through it, watched the video. I have not carried her yet, clearly, because the tag is still attached. Um, she does not have any dedicated uh, SOGs as of yet. She does have a dedicated uh, mirror that I found at Dollar Twenty Five Tree. Um, I have assigned some a Twilly scarf to her, but other than that, no dedicated SOGs as it stands. Um, yes, but would I purchase another Tabby box bag? There was a pink one. There's a chalk colored one. I think there was even a yellow one. This is enough. We move on. Um, wear and tear, no issues. Just be careful because you know the leather C will be the first the first sign of wear and tear. Other than that, excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, this next piece. I need to move all of the other ones so I can get to her. Let me make sure she's actually next on the list or my height. Yes, this piece. When I tell you I stalked her, okay? She's kept in her bed, in her box, in her dust bag, okay? And that is our, this bag is so classy. Hello, man. Girl, you hype just like I'm hype. Calm down. <laughs> I'm feeling, <laughs> I'm feeling medicine. Shoulder bag. Oh my goodness, this bag is just so, so classy. I love it so much. I've carried it once, twice. I need to carry her more, okay? I need to carry her more. This bag, this bag, this bag, this bag. Do I want this bag in other colors? At one point, I wanted the this bag in the petunia color i have changed my mind i feel like if i were to get this bag in another color it would have to be another neutral um another i don't want the black one because i don't know why who bumped their head and put white stitching on the black version um i don't want it in a color i would prefer to have it in a neutral so whether that be black not black the gray I don't really like as it's as I'm working this out in front of you guys I'm feeling like this is enough for me right now just because this color I don't I don't want this bag in a color I'll, I'll leave it at that this size bag in a color I feel like the 18s are where you play with color that's what I'll say the 26 you have to go classy you have to go elevated this bag is everything I need to pull it out more as I put her back in her dust bag, back in her box, okay? But yes, if they were to release this bag again in another neutral color that tickled my fancy, I will, I, I would purchase it. Next up, we have another bag that tickled my fancy at one particular time. Another, um, have I carried her lately no okay this is this is one of the pieces that kept falling behind the top of the shelf and that's our coach dreamer handbag in the color i think this was aurora and dark pine with the taupe i love this color by coach by the way i love this i would love to have a coach bag in, in this taupe color um i know they what is it the cassie 19 came out in this color and low-key this is what i mean by neutral like if coach was to release that pillow madison shoulder bag in this taupe color absolutely i would listen a hundred thousand percent yes but the, these colors spoke to me so much y'all i just thought this was so pretty this dark pine color 
and I love that they use the pewter hardware um, but yes and then the other thing that I really loved about this bag when I got it I discovered that it had like navy blue interior oh, baby that's another color by coach that I, I would love to have something navy blue but yes I've carried this bag twice and I know exactly what I wore it with it's two different jumpsuits the jumpsuit that the jump one jumpsuit is this color the other jumpsuit is this color pink other than that it's sitting um had to have this bag okay had to have this bag need to put her in her dust bag um did i want any other dreamer bags i did at one point i don't want them now um just because <sighs> this style this structure I feel lends itself to um, very similar to a lot of the reasons why a lot of my Michael Kors bags are sitting because of the structured nature. I feel like they are very, um, this is not a weekend bag. This is very much, I'm going to work, I'm going to church, I'm going someplace um, business, business casual, things of that nature. This is not like a chill bag at least especially not in this color um yeah so would i purchase another dreamer bag if i found a color that i thought i could do more than just business with um it has to have like an element of like party chill to it maybe but other than that no um moving along up next we have oh we have reached the totes portion of our collection video, which means that we are getting ready to close this video out. Thank you, Jesus, okay? Because <laughs> this video has been the drama to make, okay? Um, we have our city totes. We have one in the khaki saddle, one in the black brown. Do I want, y'all see, do I want more city totes? I did. Um, I wanted the monogram collection. I love that I slept, I missed out. Um, if I happen to find them, it's gonna have to be pre-loved and less poultry releases. Um, but these bags are like, they, listen, the canvas, this is the wear and tear. I use these bags for work. This is the level of wear and tear. Cause you know, the corners are usually the first to go. Very minimal corner wear very minimal corner wear and these are like my work workhorses like i showed you guys the matching sogs already um this one does not have a tote insert this one however the black brown let me show you the corner wear on her only reason why it shows up is because it's a darker color very minimal as much as i've carried these bags for work very minimal this one has an insert Uh, I showed you guys the SOGs that I use for this bag as well. Um, now these bags, you're supposed to have the option of flipping them inside out. Like they're supposed to be reversible, but I would never carry this bag with this flap on the outside. I wish they would bring back the Coach City Totes of old where you could have a completely reversible experience and didn't have this pocket on the inside because it came with a pouch very similar to another designer um, and maybe that's why they stopped it but yes this insert um, yeah it's helpful when it wants to be I'll say that I have mixed feelings about the insert which is why I slowed my pace in getting an insert for the khaki saddle do I want another um, city tote <sighs> maybe the light khaki saddle to like have all three of the signature colors um but i'm leaning more towards the monogram pieces i like the monogram collection i want i want some pieces from there i like the colors that they offered um yeah but if i was to get another signature print it would be the light khaki saddle um if i was to go monogram i'm not sure what colors i would get I, right now i'm remembering four colors they may have been more but I would have to double check and see. 
All right, now we're moving along into the tribe of Dempsey. And we have up first, our silver and green Dempsey carryall in the jacquard prints, okay? Now she uses the SOGs, the silver and green Olita and the silver and green Snap Wallet. I've showed you guys that already. This baby, do I want another one? Yes, I do, okay? I 100% yes. This little bag is so adorable. She gets so many compliments. I've carried her multiple times, very minimal wear. Um, I feel like that can be wiped off. And just like you gotta be careful when you sit her down, the feet are supposed to protect against that, but I gotta be careful. Um, yeah, but oh, this jacquard print is just everything, okay? Everything. And yes, the Jacquard Stripe Dempsey Carry All. And this is her dedicated charm, the little green fluffy heart. Yes, I would 100% purchase another Dempsey Carry All. There's a color I thought I wanted, but I think at this point I might change my mind and lean a different direction. But yes, I enjoy this carry. She is, I actually carry her this week or last week, might've been. Let's look at the lovely ticket I got the day I carry her. Shall we? That'll tell me. <laughs> because Philly is so, ugh, I hate it here. Let me see, 613, so that was last week. I hate the city. <laughs> Let me stop. Yes, I would definitely purchase her again. All right, and closing us out from the Dempsey collection, from the tribe of Dempsey. Two workhorses, these were go-to work bags i have not tried them yet for travel um but that is our dempsey tote 40s and the redwood multi and the black smoke multi do i want more of these bags yes okay these bags are everything these are the outlets response to the field tote 40. Maybe. Oh, these bags, okay? Each of them, um, I was able to find the Dempsey Boxy cosmetic case for each of them. And that's kind of like what has driven my um, perfect little catch-all or, you know, for the bag. Um, for this one, I also enjoy using my um, khaki saddle signature print SOGs for this one. Um, yes, this bag has a shoulder strap. It is very much needed because these things, okay, they get heavy, 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 heavy. Heavy, heavy. You got so heavy, baby. <laughs> Let me stop. Um, yes, as far as wear and tear, very minimal, thankfully because of, I believe of the feet. Um, I have been careful with the bag. I did not baby them. So there is minimal wear on the corners. Like I said, the corners are usually the first to go. But as far as fabric, the fabric has been holding up very well. This Jacquard fabric has been holding up very well. This is probably the extent of like, but again, I carried them for work. The worst that happened was this fill. I was in the bathroom at work one day. I put this on top of the toilet, which was like the worst mistake ever. And it decided it didn't want to be up there. So it fell into the public restroom toilet. Baby, the sanitation, okay? Um, but it held up. I will say that it held up. I love this Jacquard print so, so much. But yes, but I get another Dempsey tote. 40, absolutely. Let's check out the black one. Now this one has the, the wear and tear that I'm most concerned about. And I think it's something that happens to it at work. But again, because it's a dark color, I don't know, it, what is that? It feels or it looks like either something got on it. Let me see. Um, wait, where's the worst? 
there's a section, listen, work trash is falling out. There was a section of this bag on the, yeah, here it is right here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. But I was concerned, like, wait, is this leather peeling? Like, don't don't tell me they was they're hitting us with the faux leather. But yeah, I can see the most wear and tear on the leather portions. And I don't know if that's because I sat it in something by accident or what. But the jacquard, <laughs> the jacquard print, the jacquard uh, fabric is holding up. Again, Dempsey boxy cosmetic case. It's this stuff in here. All types. Here's my tie to go pin. Let me put this someplace. Child. We'll talk about one to hunt. Yeah, a lot of trash is still in here. It needs to be cleaned out. But that would be the driving factor. Also has the shoulder strap. I would have to be able to find the maxing, the maxing, the matching boxy cosmetic case because they are clutch as catch-alls in these bags. Um, I just remembered this one has a matching SLG or I tried to match the SLG and that is this graphite and black card holder. I tried. Okay, I tried. I'm just thankful that it has silver hardware. I tried. But yes, um, that is it for this collection video. 82 hours later. Yeah, this is graphite and black. Yeah, okay, so this, yes, as we close out. So yes, this is the black and silver I was referring to. So they have done black and silver um, SLGs. It's just they're the signature print as well. But a solid black with the silver, would we'll love it. Love, love, love. But that is it. That is all what I will do. Um, I will link my unboxing playlist, my SLGs. Do I have an SLG playlist? My unboxing playlist, my collections playlist, anything else that's relevant to the items that are featured in this collection video in the description below. Um, yes, let me know what you think if you have enjoyed this video in the comments, like, share. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you love all things faith and fashion or know another girly who also loves all things faith and fashion, both of you, subscribe, like, comment, share, do all of the things. Um, hit that notification bell, that's key. So you can stay tuned for all things faith and fashion on my channel. Again, my name is Anitra with Different by Design where faith and fashion connect and you have a great week.